what is going on y'all man welcome back to another video it is your boy fat cat of course bringing you another one cat nation please stand up you know what i'm saying but here as you guys see man we got a dope charger right behind me man first gen this is tyler's man first generation's garage the guy who's done all of my um my lighting um you know as far as installation and everything else with the headlights and all that and the engine bay he's the one who did all that and the uh, demonizing and all that good stuff so we're gonna go ahead and do a, a nice little walkthrough and feature of his car man because he's got a lot of stuff done to his to his charger and his wife's charger as well by the way we'll do that one another day but for right now man we're gonna get uh, uh some good shots of this one we're gonna talk about it feature it all that good stuff man you guys know how i do so let's stay tuned man let's go let's get into the video let's go Alright man, so we got my guy Tyler man, better known as PFC underscore B. That is PFC underscore B E E on Instagram, man. If you guys don't know, like I just told you in the introduction, he is the one who did who is responsible for all of my lighting installation um, as far as all my headlights and everything else, man. So again, so we are here with him and this is his whip. Do you have a name for him? Her? She hasn't gotten her name yet. No? Yeah, I don't think I can give her her name until she's got all of her beauty marks on her. Until she's completely, until, completely. Until she's complete, I can't give her a name. Like, we're still, like I said, we're waiting for the lip. And that's a big focal point. The lip on this right. thing is going to make it look a lot lower and way more aggressive. It meets up with the wide body kit. Right. So it's going to look like one piece. Mm -hmm. um, and then the side splitters, I mean, it's just going to... So, so you, got, you got a few other things yeah, coming before you can coming, sit back and be like, all right, mm -hmm. that's a Isabella or something mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> I had a name for it in the beginning. And I was just like, that doesn't, it didn't sit right with me. I mean, I've, I've won a lot of it, it has to make sense. It has to make sense. Yep. And it has to, like, feel right. Just like the military, you earn your nickname. There you go. They got to earn their name. So there you go, man. So we don't got a name for her yet, but for the time being, what, what are we looking at here, man? So what do we got? So this is a 2007 Dodge Charger SRT8. It's okay. Built 6.1 all the way down to the Pistons. It's got just about everything ready for a supercharger. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with the guys uh, All American Performance out in uh, like Miami area. Mm -hmm. They built our Challenger, which you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, the next step for this, once the body kit's done, uh, we want to. They make a bolt-on Hellcat supercharger kit for the 6.1s. Right. So that's kind of like the next fun step. I don't really want to get a lot of horsepower out of this car. It's more just like, yes, it can go. It makes like almost 500 right now to the wheel. Mm -hmm. motor, and it's fun. I can keep up with scat packs and stuff like that. So it's good where it's at now. The next big journey actually is um, Alpha One Wheels out in Orlando. Okay. They have partnered with me on my new, my, my new set of wheels. They're actually insane. And I'm so excited. Um, we're going to start with a simple setup. And then for SEMA next year, I was supposed to go this year, but next year I'm going to SEMA. Uh, we are doing carbon fiber lips to match the hood. Nice. So it's going to be honeycomb carbon fiber disc lips on front and rear. Uh, same with the wide body kit, it's going to match the hood. It's going to be honeycomb carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. The only piece that's not going to match is the wicker bill, and it's camouflage green candy carbon fiber. Oh, wow. It is not, it was more or less of a decision where we could go honeycomb as well, or we could throw something a little bit different on the back, kind of mm -hmm. just. Of the curve, so that's what we did. Um, I am going to get another honeycomb one made for later. I don't want to rock uh, carbon fiber all the time, I don't want it to get sun damage before seeing that. Right? So, there's a lot of little things coming. I mean, the wheels big is a big thing, these wheels just don't fit the car. But as of right now, yeah. so these are are these replica? Um, these are just regular Redden SVOs, twos. Um, oh, okay, they came off of our Challenger, they got damaged from a cleaning company a long time ago. 
and we painted them black right before a winter fest. Oh, okay, the night gotcha. before we painted these black. Right. Um, so they're they're okay for now. They're just not wide enough, and I have two inch spacers on the front and rear, and you can see how much space. It's still right. You still got a lot to. I mean, I just don't want to add any more spacer to it. So what what white body kit? This is, this? is uh, Charged Motor Works. They made the front bumper, the hood, the flare kit. They're gonna make the lip. They make the spoiler and the wicker bed. Okay. Well, let's kind of walk around here so we can kind of see everything. Mm -hmm. So these are what? Twenty inch? Twenty two inch? These are twenties. These are twenties. Oh, those are twenty fives front and rear. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to go to the new setup is going to be 12 inch wide in the front, 14 wide in the rear. 14 wide in the rear, three, wow. 315s in the rear and 305s up front. Oof. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people ask about this store here. What is the significance of this? So I was in the United States Army. Um, I was a decent mechanic. I also worked on tanks. And mm -hmm. actually the thing that took me out of my dream career was a tank. Um, and everyone knows if you've seen the t movie Fury, um, that is the star on the side of the tank. And, to me, that has just been the one thing that it, it took me down, but it can also bring me back up. Gotcha. So I just use it as a it's a reminder to just never give up. That's the one thing. I, it was either going to be that or we're going to do the fighter jet thing. And I was like, I'm going to do something that actually portrays to me. So I went with the, the black stardom and it matches the vinyl from it's the same exact vinyl from the roof and the trunk. Nice. So we just use that. We actually put that on the day of Winterfest. We showed up <laughs> and that, we, my, my, my sticker guy was like, yo, we got to put this I on. I remember. I remember, he, I remember he, put, <laughs> he put that on on the spot while we were over there, man. Yep. So walking around to the rear here, we have, um, is this just a painted? This, this is called the Fat Cat Spoiler. <laughs> the Fat Cat it's Spoiler. It's actually spelled uh, P-H-A-T, <laughs> the Fat Cat Spoiler. It's made by uh, Charge Motor Works as well. Okay. Um, the hardware is here now because I just sold my wicker belt to another person. Uh, okay. Because my new one's on the way. But honestly, we the reason why we got it for this series is because on the original SRTs, everybody knows it's just really ugly spoiler. Right. Like, um, and this actually protrudes out to cover the spoiler. Um, there was nobody really doing it at the time for Generation 1 specifically. Mm -hmm. um, everyone was doing it for Gen 3s like yours and whatnot, or Gen 6s as other people like to call them. Um, so we, we partnered with them, and it's been a great partnership ever since. I mean, I love the work they do. They do everything for chargers. They're starting to get in the challengers, um, but their, their, their customer service, their reliability, and their timing is just it's probably best to none if anything nice so what do you have for exhaust first of all if you guys don't know this exhaust <laughs> is loud as hell so what do you have for exhaust work so it is stainless works long tube headers it is three and a half mm. inch outlets to three and a half inch all the way through no mufflers no mids no nothing just that thing is three and a half inch exhaust. super loud so basically what i've what i'm gonna do next is we're gonna take off from the headers back we're gonna add an H pipe, and I'm debating on adding a flip switch mm. to put 40 series on, or just keeping it like that and putting the H pipe on. The H pipe quiets it down just a little bit, right. but it makes it more throaty than raspy, which right. is kind of what I'm going for. So. Okay. Yep. Dope, man. And are these aftermarket uh, yeah, tail lights? Yeah, these are LED tail lights. They they came on my wife's car. Actually, me and my wife swapped tail lights. It was pretty funny. Okay. I had the Chrome series of these. She had the blacked out version, so we swapped tail lights. They're great tail lights. The only problem with this one is I think one day it got way too hot and it bubbled the metal, the plastic in there mm -hmm. and the wiring's kind of funky, but it, the brake light works, the running light doesn't work. So I just gotta get a new set, we'll swap them out. They're like, they're pretty cheap, but okay. I'm either gonna do that or build a custom set. Nice. So it's one of those things, it's like, do I wanna spend a lot of money or just a little money and let it go for a little while? <laughs> so. All right, and the roof over here, is this wrapped or yeah, painted or? Vinyl. Yep, it's black vinyl by 3M. Uh, okay. Fresh Wraps over in Tampa did it. Uh, okay. The Arizona T skyline that everyone knows it as, if you know who it is. Right. Um, he does. He does all my vinyl work. That's dope, man. Let's uh, let's get into the hood and see what we got under under the, uh, okay, okay. the motor. Oh, did you notice the oh, back bumper? Actually, oh, I didn't notice the back bumper. It's a 2016 Hellcat rear bumper. What? Fitted to a 2007. Well, let's go check that out real yeah, quick. Yeah, we can't so. just say it. <laughs> we gotta actually tell them or yeah, no, show them. No. We basically, we found a Duraflex kit that was kind of wonky. Oh, uh, yeah. And me and my buddy sat down and we we came at an attack plan. So basically what we did is we took the original OEM bumper, the SRT bumper, mm -hmm. and we made a stencil out of it to fit on there. And then we took the Duraflex kit, trimmed it up, and then I think we have over an inch thick of fiberglass that we added ourselves. Wow. Because it was, I mean, seriously, wind could have taken it away. It right. was that flimsy. So then we went on Amazon. And everyone was like, oh, those don't fit. You're not going to make it work, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold, me and my body guy, over 100 hours of body work, we got the whole rear end to fit in with the side spats and the rear diffuser. Damn. 
So. <laughs> That's I what mean, you call fabrication. We it took us a long time and it was a lot of tedious work. All right. Uh, but it was worth it in the end. I mean, nobody's got it. There's a few guys out in California that have it. All right. Um, and then after I did it, everybody was like, "Yo, how'd you do it?" I I don't mind sharing it, I, details with people. So. So before we lift this hood, let's talk about what this hood is actually. This hood is honeycomb carbon fiber reinforced with carbon underneath. Um, it is not your normal weave. Everyone's starting to get into it now. Right. So uh, when we were first coming up with the idea, I originally was just going to get a fiberglass hood and then get it painted something or get a stencil put over it. Um, but then him being my sponsor, he was like, hey man, let's try something different. So me and my wife both got honeycomb carbon fiber hoods to kind of set the difference for people around the area. And these lights, are they... Uh these are aftermarket as well. These are spec D's. Um, I took them completely apart, refitted them with uh, DRL tubes, kind of like uh, Keith has. Yeah. The same setup, but a little bit newer. Um, and it's just simple. It was just easy. I didn't want to go crazy yet. Um, I'm actually going to replace. So everything that's square in here is going to get a square LED instead of a circle. Is this thick bug? Uh, um is that's that a, a mod as well? That's a mod for my home that. because I live out in the sticks, <laughs> as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> he brought a stick bug from him with, uh, with him all the way from over so there. I'm going to give everyone fair warning. Engine bay is not clean. It's, it needs work. Oh, it's all good. But it is, uh, it is completely built. So, yeah, we have oil Oof. catch can, ported heads, Mishimoto radiator, uh, Mishimoto radiator hoses, Hellcat water pump, Hellcat oil pump. Um, six one ported manifolds, K and N intake. It's, you know, it's the same old, same old that everybody else has on these generations. Right. I want to get a leg maker. Um, I just, you know, my pockets don't go that deep right now. Mm. So I got mine waiting to get put on right I now. I saw that. I was like, oh. Waiting. Man. I saw the plate and all that stuff mm -hmm. is uh getting nice and pretty right now. But anyway, well, the other thing you got to do is this, point. man. I took all of the these nasty plugs out. Right. And replaced them with rib nuts and pretty hardware. Yeah, I, have, I have another set coming that's got like beauty washers on it to make it look good. That makes Christina, sense. But I'm going to do that in Especially all if you paint them like a certain color or whatever. I'm going to just do them all black oh, to match black. the ones in the rear. And then around the engine bay, we're going to add, so when we put on like, so the covers I was telling you about, mm -hmm. they're going to go from here and they're going to drape over all of this. So you oh, won't okay. see any of that. You'll just see the motor. Nice. And then I have nice metal covers made that are going to say PFC B with lights in them. Right. So everything, I mean, right now it's kind of like, it's the, it's the, 50% stage so now we're just waiting for the parts to show up and then once everything shows up everything's gonna get pretty much pulled out cleaned like to the to the teeth and then we're gonna paint all of this uh, crystal black or that tuxedo black that originally comes with Dodge the, with the flake in it right we're gonna paint that all on both sides okay and then we're gonna cover everything so it can stay nice and pretty thing looks good man I mean you got it he came out I mean I came a long way from even from just a little bit of that I've known you yeah. Um, cause I remember when this thing was sitting in the garage with nothing in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was not too long ago. This car sat for seven and a half months. I blew I blew the motor. I didn't blow the motor. I dropped the valve. And the valve got stuck and it didn't damage the rest of the motor. It just mm. didn't want to kick over. Um, so I hit up the guys out in Miami and they worked me a sick deal. I mean, I, c I couldn't thank them enough for how much they helped me with it. But I got the motor completely built. Hellcat lifters, custom cam ported heads i mean they did everything that works dyno tuned and everything the day i got it back i was able to just let it rip all over the highway nice. it's good to go so i didn't have to wait yeah um the same thing for my dad's they did my, did my dad's the challenger and what's the company again uh all american performance i believe down in miami area yeah down in miami area. i'll send okay. you the link for that okay. on, on uh, instagram nice yeah, man so are you still on bags Look, I, oh, know, yeah. I know you have you know i know you I'm, i got p3s i got the thing fixed that's what i'm saying forever but I, they finally, the guy, I, I talked to a manager and he was like, hey man, look, don't worry about it. We'll get it sent out to you. And I was like, look, I was like, look, I don't need to keep a broken part. I just need to express that. I'm like, I'm a business. I don't need broken parts. I just need my stuff to work so I can advertise for my business. And he's like, I totally understand. He's like, I'm sorry for this coming. So what are you on as far as air ride? Airlift P3, five gallon tank, two compressors. I love it. It's great. It's perfect. Nice. So the best thing I could have done. There I go, man. So we are on air for sure is this aired out all the way or yeah yeah this is, oh well right now it's all the way um i have to adjust the bags again mm. when i put the new kit on i cut the fenders a little bit more so i could go deeper in right right now on the rear i'm sitting on the frame on the front i'm right above the frame okay so i gotta tuck the wire harness up a little bit more and then cut a little bit more out and i can go a little bit lower 
Nice, man. So, yeah. So, like I said, man, I can't wait to see this thing when it's completely done, as you were saying, and then we'll revisit yeah. when that time comes and show the update. By the way, that's Gianni over there. If you guys don't know, he's over there. <laughs> Hanging out on his phone, all in the picture, all in the camera. My goodness. In his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu attire as he just finished practicing this morning or having training this morning. But anyway, other than that, though, man, um, yes, like I said, this thing came a long way from what I remember, even just, what was that, a year and a half ago? Yeah. Um, when it wasn't even running. And um, sitting in his garage, he was telling me all the plans yeah, that he was having for it. No bumper, it had nothing. Nothing. Everybody, everybody looking at me was crazy, like, yeah, you ain't gonna do that. And he was like, man, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. Up, and everyone was like, oh, wait a minute, he did it. <laughs> but he was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And, you know, we're like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's gonna look dope, you know. But when you hear it versus when you see it, it's two different things. That is gonna be pretty much it for this one, man. Appreciate you guys for joining and watching this video, man, again with my guy, Tyler, um, who's literally probably taking care of half of Central Florida <laughs> with with uh, uh, not yet, not yet. installing, you know, lights and things like that of that nature. Um, and there you go, man. And this is his first gen charger that he's definitely bringing up. His, like I said, his wife has one as well that I know, mm. I know, mm. I've seen this, I've seen what happened. Mm. Um, it hurts. <laughs> but it, it was, is she, well, we'll she's talk about, okay. She's okay. but we'll talk about that off camera as yeah, far as yeah. what the plans are with that. But anyway, his wife had one as well that was uh, on bags and everything else and all that good stuff, man. So, yeah, man. So, these guys are definitely putting in work over here. And um, like I said, man, um, when he gets everything all said and done, he still has a few more pieces to add. We'll revisit it and show off the update in as far as everything that he has done, man. But for now, PFC underscore B, man, a.k.a. Tyler. Mm -hmm. You know, we all go by Instagram. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I appreciate you for taking your time to come out here. And uh, showing off your, your beautiful car, um, no uh, on no name yet, but we will have a name here soon uh, when we're all said and done. And other than that, we're going to leave you guys off with some rolling shots. So I hope you guys appreciate that as well on the highway. And what else do I got to say? Let me see. I got some announcements. Oh, for, for headphone users, turn your turn it down. It's loud when, it's, when I drive by, it's going to blow up. It's loud as hell. <laughs> I'm Trust just going to warn you now. It's loud as hell. Matter of fact, what I do is uh, right before we go to I'll the rolling start. shots, we'll do a nice, it's not even a cold start, but it's going <laughs> to sound, it's going to it's going to sound like everybody else's cold start yep. when he turns it on. Um, but yeah, man, but other than that, a couple of announcements before we go. Remember, merch is now available. So make sure y'all click that link in the below, in the description below. Go to the merch store. Um, get all your uh, all your fat cat attire basically and there's a couple different designs and then no matter what de Depending on what the, uh, the picture is whatever color I have multiple colors for all kind of for every single design that I have including the uh, the women's um, uh, uh, What do you call it? Joggers? Leggings. Oh, leggings Leggings. I say women's but hey, you know some men might want to rock them too. I don't know. Hey, comfy, I'm not gonna I, I, I'm not gonna question you man <laughs> That's it for this one though, man. This has been a long enough video. We'll give you announcements on another video. Other than that, again, appreciate Tyler for coming out here and showing off his car to us. Um, and uh, that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and enjoy these roller shots. We out of here. Let's go. Right, go ahead.